go. I'm gonna miss you and I'll see you in like two weeks. Peace out, girl scout. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. Today is an exciting day. So basically I went to um, like a tackle shop recently and I, when I was walking in, they had the coolest things in the entire world, uh, a vending machine with tackle in it. I don't remember what was in it, if I'm being truthful. I know there was a live bait one and then there was a vending machine with just soft plastics in it. And I thought it was the absolute coolest thing in the entire world. So we're gonna go back there. I'm gonna bring you guys along so you can see like what, what's in them and we're gonna buy some stuff and then fish with them. So I gotta go get some stripper money from the bank with a bunch of ones. <laughs> and then, am I taking a love? Yeah. Okay, and then, what? I think. Hmm, uh, no. Ah. I mean, I know. This, is, this is where we came from. Hi, Lila's here. Uh, we just dropped off the trailer. I want you guys to drop some comments down below what you think I'm getting done to the trailer and for what reason. I'm doing one of the coolest things I could possibly do uh, on the channel. I'm, and when I say I'm gonna go broke, like I'm going to go broke. So I wanted to show you guys the trailer right before we 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 parted. You know, we, we just had a part, which is fine, but it's for the best because we're gonna do some really cool stuff to the trailer. We're gonna be beefing up the trailer like crazy, if that's your hint. Yeah, the trailer's getting some work done. It's gonna be crazy, it's gonna be cool. It's gonna be a winter project. You guys are gonna fall in love with it. I'm gonna fall in love with it. Uh, so that being said, we're doing that, and then we're also going to the vending machines right now, which is going to be really cool. I've been dying to do it since I went to this Bay and Tackle store like a week ago, maybe two weeks. So I've been planning this video for a little while now, and I'm excited. So I'm going to run to the bank, <laughs> grab some one so we have enough money to buy what we want to type of thing. And then, uh, yeah, see what we can buy, see what's inside the vending machines, and see if the fish like what we buy. It's going to be interesting. Stay tuned. Love you guys. Let's make it happen. lovely main road and behind us we got two vending machines all right here's a quick view so you got some soft plastics some hooks and some weird stuff some cool top waters it's definitely hard to see now you can see a reflection highlight yeah. we have line um like i understand that you know you can't really see that well i can't really see that well actually um because of the this is how the sun's hitting it. But then we have this over here. We have cut mackerel. Cut mackerel, squid, sea clams, which I don't think I'm gonna do. We're gonna stick to, uh, we're, we're gonna stick to bass fishing. Wish we could do that with bass fishing. I'm seeing some trout baits, like some crazy stuff. So it's actually gonna be a surprise once I put the money in and type in the number because you guys can barely see, which kind of works out, I guess. We went to the bank, we got $20 in ones. Thank God, cause this is actually kind of pricey. I'm looking at these prices not looking hot but it's for the experience so i'm gonna put five bucks in one did you wave to yourself <laughs> i lost count was that three i have no idea shoot 650 holy crap that i want that that is insane why are you so overpriced five oh oh uh oh okay let's do it we're gonna type in five zero, see if this actually works. Might be a little sketchy. Oh, it's going, it's going, it's going. Yo! <laughs> Hold up. Ready? First thing we got, never heard of this company ever. It, you can see there's Japanese writing on it, so it looks like a Japanese bait. We got some stick baits. This is so freaking cool. Um, I'm gonna go for that top water, even though it's 750. Ah, uh, jeez Louise. Chatterbait or top water? Topwater. Knew you're gonna say top water. <laughs> I think that might be enough. How much was it? Okay, so we're typing in number 32. 32. Oh, it's going. <laughs> okay, before I show you guys the top water, let me grab some hooks for the Sankos if they have the right one. I mean, I don't want to use terminal tackle that's outside of this thing because it's part of the challenge. So I'm going to just get what hooks in here look the best for a wacky rig or a Texas rig. Oh, there we go. That was my last dollar too. Perfect. All right. Top water. 
hooks. So we just spent 20 bucks on this. That's a little pricey. So this is gonna be the perfect combo. We got Senko's Texas rig. And then this is the Hulu Popper top water. This is like the OG, one of the coolest top waters ever. So, I mean, I personally can't complain because we got some cool baits. So, I don't know. Let's talk in the car real quick. The background noise is kind of, you know, not great. So, I'll meet you guys back in the car, but we got some juice baits. All right, bag secured. We got our three baits. Um, I'm gonna meet you guys at the pond and we're gonna see what we can catch on some vending machine lures that are extremely overpriced. <laughs> Let's go make it happen. Well, I'm making the executive decision to say we should start with top water. I don't know if you would say this is a hula popper exactly, but I mean, it's pretty close and pretty cool. Little frog imitation popper with some treble hooks. I mean, I can promise you it's top water. I don't, whatever you want to call it, but it is definitely top water. The green and the yellow. This thing's sick. I only have one of these, so I really hope I don't break off. All right, I fished this pond once on the channel for like five minutes, not even, and I think I caught one or two fish. Oh, look at that pop, dude. This thing's sweet. Um, so yeah, I don't really know if there's like a big population of fish in here. Um, I went right after the hurricane, so yeah, I walked this whole place, fished it like, fished it with my heart, and I think I caught two fish. And they were the size of my pinky. But, the only reason why I fished here was because rumor has it they're giant, so I'm back. Top water looks so freaking good. Oh. oh. That, was, that was the first top water hit. Right before he got snagged and all those lily pads he just came out and BAM! Alright, so far I've gotten three hits. One of them seemed like a bass, which you guys might saw. Then the other two looked like bluegills, truthfully, so whatever that's about. Yeah. There we go, there we go. Oh my God, I got one. Oh my God, I got one. No way. Let's go, baby. Oh my God. I'm almost completely done with fishing this entire pond. Don't thrash. And this is the only actual blow up that I've gotten. Um, so yeah, put it in perspective. We've been fishing our butts off and we have not been doing too hot. Um, it's definitely not the bait. I just, I'm gonna be honest. I don't think this is a place with a lot of bass. There we go. Well, not a giant by any means, but it is indeed our first fish of the vending machine fishing challenge. See you later, buddy. Oh man, oh man, oh man, oh man. I don't know, man. I'm just, I've been told there's giants in here, so I haven't given up. And I'm gonna keep chucking and winding switch to the Senko really soon because we did catch because we did get worms little Senkos as well as hooks so we can definitely make that happen yeah I'm not gonna say definitely maybe not here but we will make it happen for you guys in today's video of course oh it feels so good finally a top water blow up all right making oh god I'm stuck in so many lily pads there we go there's so many lily pads in this pond, so yeah, I'm gonna make the decision. I am going back to this top water. I can promise you guys that that's a necessity. Um, but I really need to catch fish on one of the Senkos. Let's see. It's like Japanese writing on the back. It looks really cool. It's uh, watermelon red. So I don't know. 
It should be catching fish for us. There we go. Yes. On the freaking Senko. I let that fall and sit and painfully worked that sank <laughs> the weightless Senko. Oh, I thought you were gonna be a giant, buddy. Nope, but that's fine. Um, huh. Not an upgrade, but nonetheless, <laughs> another one for the day. That's first fish on the watermelon red Sanko from the vending machine, our little Japanese whatever. Um, that was pretty cool. I liked that. I didn't feel him really hit. I just kind of saw my line go and I was like, I'm either snagged or something and moved it a little bit, felt him, set that hook and felt pretty good. It's like one of my favorite ways to catch them is just casting right on the edge of the lily pads. And they're usually just sitting right there. Not usually. Not usually, sometimes. <laughs> but when they are, then it's really fun. There's gotta be bigger fish in here, man. Like, I, I've been told, I've been told, I've been told. No! You suck. It worked. They, how did you guys not want top water? I came over here with top water and threw it, like, I don't know, 12 times. There we go. Oh, yeah. I, I swear, there is big fish in here. <laughs> oh. You know what, I can't promise anything. I, I've just been told that there's big fish in here, but the worm is the same size as him. Bye, bud. Oh my God. <laughs> Okay, I'm done with this section because I think I found the nursery. Buddy, I know that there was, you know, someone who created you that's a lot larger. Where are they at? Hi, bud. These worms are holding up pretty good. Not too shabby. Actually, not really. No, they're not. <laughs> Doesn't mean they're not good. Well, peace out, Girl Scout. Gone to a different pond. No. No. Dude, come on. Please, please don't do this to me right now. It's hard to cast with my cast on my wrist. Okay, I broke off. Time to go put another popper on. Cause that's the only way to keep this challenge still fair. Let's put a popper on. It's just really hard to cast with my wrist right now. Um, so my accuracy is completely off. I wonder if I have top water. I have to. Oh yeah. Thank God. Okay, so we have a popper, which is like still the same. Here's a quick B-roll of our top water, rest in peace. Just, just rest in peace. That thing was so beautiful. But we had to say goodbye because Becca's injured. And we're gonna use the Guggen Squad blooper, which is just as good, but just kind of sucks because, yeah. And I would go back to, you know, just throwing the worm that we got, but that's just like not as cool as throwing this top water. And, I promised you guys I would continue throwing the top water. So I'm gonna continue to throw a top water 
so it's like a 50 percent promise obviously i would make it a hundred percent promise if i still had that top water but it's sitting in a tree so okay at this point i'm not even gonna close the bed of my truck just in case <laughs> just in case Oh, there we go, there we go, there we go. Oh my God, finally. On the top water popper. You. <sighs> Who would have thunk I could catch fish with a messed up wrist on a popper? Not me. No, I'm just kidding, I knew it. I'm just playing, I could definitely do it. Oh, I stuck you good. You didn't even like blow up on it. You just slurped it. You slurped it. Ah, there we go. Not bad, but definitely bigger than the fish we were catching at the other pond. So <laughs> that says a lot. My first fish to this pond is already bigger than all the fish we caught at the last pond. Bye, buddy. I'm going to work my boat off. This is like a four day long video in the making. Fishing's been brutal. That was a good cast. A couple things. First off, my apologies for the lack of fish catches in this video. You guys know I like to catch a certain amount of fish to produce these videos out to you guys and whatnot. But, uh, yeah, this is, and then I obviously post videos that are like the reality of it. Like, <laughs> sometimes it takes me days and days to film video, just get a certain amount of fish catches and energy going on in the video. But, I'm injured, so it's been pretty tough. Um, you know, I went out fishing three days in a row for this video. <laughs> this hurricane messed the fish up pretty bad. Hopefully you guys enjoyed the vending machine fishing challenge. I had a blast filming it. Um, it was just really, really hard and painful to do so, and I'm actually not supposed to be fishing at all. So if my doctor watches my video still, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm sorry. I'm doing my best. I just can't help it. I want to go fishing. Anyways, I love you guys so much. Thank you for all the love and support clicking on this video. And if you made it until the end and you are not already subscribed, that means you kind of like the video enough to watch it till the end. So make sure you subscribe. Hit that bell uh, so you get notified every single time I post. Leave a like. Drop a comment. Um, yeah, I just love you guys. Thank you for all the love and support. And videos will be cranked out a lot lately uh, coming up. So... Lots to look forward to. I love you guys so much. Thank you for everything, and I'll catch you, beautiful people. That's nice, so. Rack it up, rack it up. I got a bit of the bank to make me a safe house. Shake it up, shake it up. She got her hands on her knees and she bringing a cake out. Smoke it up, smoke it up. I got some gas, some packs. I'm up in the greenhouse. Ball it up, ball it up. I'm with the gang. We taking shots off the rebound. Fucking my posts to say now. I've been humble too long. Yeah.